Chris Evans recently made a comment that he was considering quitting acting in favor of directing. That's cool, man. Direct a movie, I'll watch it. But don't stop acting, man, because you're doing a good job. Snowpiercer is a film starring Chris Evans, Jamie Bell, John Hurt, Tilda Swinton, and quite a bit of other people, and a few people that are pretty awesome that I don't want to spoil for you because it's just best that you not know that they're in the movie. This is a movie that has been surrounded by a lot of controversy, largely because it was directed by a Korean filmmaker who's very talented. He made the film The Host, and when this film premiered at various festivals, critics loved the movie, but the production company was fearful that mainstream audiences weren't gonna get into this movie, and they were considering editing a large portion of it just to make it more mainstream, I guess. After a lot of outrage from not just fans, but critics who love the film as well, they decided to show the film in its uncut glory, thank goodness. So in this film, mankind is largely extinct. The entire world is frozen, and the majority of mankind now resides on a constantly moving train. The people who are more towards the front of the train are living in luxury. The people who are more towards the back are the exact opposite. Eventually a revolt is planned and led by Chris Evans who wants to take everyone in the back all the way to the front where they will meet Wilford, who's basically God now because the world is not viewed as a planet anymore. It's just this train. I'm very disappointed in the way that Snowpiercer is being released. It's a very strange release. It's basically wide except you kind of have to go out of your way to find a theater that's showing it. The closest theater to my house is like 30, 40 minutes away, which is kind of stupid. Because this movie is one of the best films I've seen all year. This is an incredibly original and unique film that looks beautiful, that has very, very good action sequences, but aren't filmed in your stereotypical Hollywood fashion. There is a little shaky cam, but it's the best shaky cam I've seen all year in regards to the way they use it. It's a stunningly photographed movie with excellent performances, the best I have ever seen from Chris Evans. He has a full, wide range of emotions on display in this movie. And there's a lot of really great character development in this film as well. It's not just a post-apocalyptic action film. This movie is at its core a drama with some really great sequences involving awesome stunt work. But for the most part, this is a very dark film with a lot of really hidden themes. And when you really start to think about what this movie is actually about, it becomes kind of profound. This movie has a lot to say about the way mankind views their society, about the way from youth up you are taught in a certain way to think of the world in a certain way. The way religion can encroach upon society, the way politics can encroach upon society, the way the media controls things. All of this is explored throughout this film that at its core is about a revolt to take the head of a train. But if you really look under the surface, there's a lot going on in Snowpiercer that had me enthralled from start to finish. But it's also technically and aesthetically a fantastic film to watch and listen to. Marco Beltrami's score is riveting. The performances in the movie, as I said, are all excellent. You really feel this bleakness to all the people who reside in the back car, who are constantly beaten, their children are taken away from them, they're forced to eat these little grimy protein bars all day. Octavia Spencer has a role in this film, not just her normal kind of silly, I'm gonna tell a joke every once in a while role that actually won her an Oscar, She's got a really physical role in this movie, and she kicked butt. I mean, she was really good in this film. But I gotta give serious props to Chris Evans, because he was so good with the stunt work in this movie, but his performance was heartbreaking. He was truly excellent in this movie. It's the best I've ever seen him. Snowpiercer is a film that is so blazingly original, that is so against the mainstream entertainment that we are so used to seeing nowadays that this film should not be missed. If you have a theater near you, or even semi near you that is showing Snowpiercer, I implore you to go and buy a ticket because I am going to buy this film on Blu-ray the day it is released. I think Snowpiercer is an excellent film. The action sequences in the film are absolutely thrilling. The dramatic aspect of the film works very well. The performances are excellent. And there's a lot of disturbing metaphors to this movie about humanity, society, religion, politics, and how all of that can blend together and sometimes be really disgusting. I'm gonna give Snowpiercer in A. Definitely check this film out. It is worth your time. Avoid the Hollywood stuff coming out this weekend. Just go see Snowpiercer. It is a different movie. I really hope more people see it. If you've seen the film, I'm interested in knowing what you thought of it. And what is your favorite Korean film? Think about that for a while. That might take you some time. <laughs> As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck menized.